The ratio of grandparents to grandchildren is higher than it's ever been in human history. More people are living longer and they being healthy older people and we're having fewer children at the same time. And so now this ratio, grandparents to grandchildren, well, it might change the world. My name is Graham Codrington. I'm your tour guide to the future. And we're in the middle of a mini series looking at the implications of one of the biggest disruptive forces changing the world at the moment. The fact that people are living longer, aging. And one of those unseen implications is the fact that grandparents are now going to become an even more significant feature in societies and communities than they've been before. Uh, research tells us that grandchildren who have regular interactions with their grandparents uh, get an advantage out of that. They uh, have an educational advantage and of course there's a more advantage in terms of social cohesion. Uh, what grandparents involved with their grandchildren's lives also does is it frees up the parents, especially the mother. And so this is going to continue to provide more impetus to women in the workplace and make it easier for mothers uh, to have children and remain in their working environments uh, because the grandparents can, can get involved. Uh, it is something that's going to change the shape of our communities and our societies and it's probably something that families need to be thinking about as well. Should they be free labor? Should we use them in this way? Are there ways that we can be more intentional and deliberate about including the older generation and connecting them with the younger? The age of grandparents is dawning. I wonder what that will mean for us.